you guys. It is Wednesday. We have about 10 school days until our AP test. I know some of you are pre preoccupied with your test coming up next week. So I, I redid this calendar a little. So up here you have the calendar for the week that I shared with you last Friday afternoon for those of you who like to work ahead. Um, I have noticed some activity on the Abigail Adams videos. So good job doing that. Um, I redid this calendar a little bit and I want to go over it briefly with you. So um, notice I got rid of Monday and Tuesday on here. If you did not do Monday's work though still, the chapter six, I need that from you. So we're going to start with Wednesday and I rearranged a little. So there is a live lesson today at one. Yesterday I gave you the wrong time because um, of the time changes. We're in central time. So please go to this at one today. Please, please, please. Um, and do that live lesson so you can practice uploading. Practice uploading. I want you to see what that looks like. I don't want you to be nervous next week when you start all these AP tests. Um, so then I move chapter seven to tomorrow. Read chapter seven. Watch the two movie clips in Swank and fill out this sheet. Have a discussion thread with your group in Canvas. I have a discussion with your group in Canvas. So I moved the read chapter seven to tomorrow and this discussion to tomorrow because I want you, I really want you to do this today. Um, Friday, uh, this I believe essay is due for most of you. You've had that assignment for a month. If you are truly overwhelmed with prepping for AP tests, then turn it in later. However, please send me a quick email just letting me know your plan. A few of you kind of just tend to disappear for two or three weeks at a time. And teachers, first of all, we do worry about you and wonder how you are and if you're okay. Um, and, but we also have to... Um, get our own stuff in and so forth. So, so shoot me an email if you need to turn in your This I Believe essay late, please. Uh, and then on the weekend sometime, read chapters eight and nine. You, have to, you do not have to do any questions for eight or nine. You are on your own for chapters eight and nine. Just enjoy it, think about it, think about some of his arguments that he's making. I did put in some questions for chapters eight and nine in Canvas in the Gatsby module if you want to look at them, just to be thinking about them. You do not have to do anything. The test is Monday. There'll be a 10 o'clock test or a one o'clock test. As of now, some of you are not eligible to take that test. You need to do either chapter one or two questions and then either chapter three or four questions and then the chapter six questions to be eligible to take that test. Finally, I have made a few videos about Gatsby and some of the things going on in there. I will continue to do that. Some of my videos do not have very many people watching them. Um, those videos are meant to help you. You actually save yourself time when you watch those videos of me telling you things to notice and what to look for. So please keep following your Gatsby module. Again, I have reworked our calendar and moved some stuff back. Um, be honest with yourself and with me about what you can truly accomplish this week. If you are overwhelmed with thinking about your calc test or your AP chem test and you're doing a bunch of AP chem review, then put your this I believe essay on the back burner for now. All right, reach out with questions, concerns. Remember, I can Google meet with you about your this I believe essay. I would be happy to do that. I'm on my computer all day. Just shoot me an email. All right, talk to you guys later. Have a good day.